Do you hear me? Um, I feel myself very strange, like a teacher or something, but I, I cannot teach you. I, I, I can teach you only bad things and not good things, so be careful. Um, so, um, my name is Nadia, my surname is uh, very strange, Tlakonnikova. So, I, I'd like to start uh, from uh, one really sad uh, Russian joke. Um, about a uh, Russian person going through passport control and uh, he gets asked by officer uh, occupation um, and uh, he uh, replied, no, just visiting. Um, so, uh, actually, every time when I go through passport control somewhere, I'm really lost uh, when officer asked me uh, about the purpose of my visit and my occupation. I really don't know what to answer. Um, am I just visiting all places where I to go? Uh, but what if I go there just for speech or for making music? Is it work? Is it business? Uh, what is it? I, I feel that I don't fit into these existing categories. So uh, I think that uh, all of us right now who are sitting in this room living um, outside of these borders, and uh, I live without any borders, um, like officer want me to appreciate and like. Um, so when I was away, just uh, finally allowed to travel outside of China, we met him in Berlin. And uh, now he is in Beijing, uh, but week after he will be in Berlin as well. So uh, there are a few borders uh, people actually do know these days. And uh, I just uh, came from Bulgaria, Sofia, and uh, in one week I will be in Moscow. So I, I really live without any borders. <laughs> So when my convoy delivered me to Moscow when I was in prison and um, prison boss questioned us uh, what cities we are from uh, and uh, it was my turn and uh, I answered that uh, I'm a citizen of the world and uh, the prison boss got mad and uh, started yelling, outside you're a citizen <laughs> but here you're just a convict. Um, but I insisted that I live without borders. Um, and from my childhood, I love and adore uh, one feminist philosopher. Uh, her name is uh, Rosie Braidotti. And um, her teacher uh, was uh, Gilles Deleuze. And um, uh, Rosie Braidotti created a very nice uh, concept, which uh, name is uh, Nomad. And um, <clears throat> she says, at the start of the third millennium, uh, in an age of global and uh, differentiated mobility, a diffuse sort of nomadism defines the location of many subjects. Uh, so today's nomadism is a clear understanding about the mobility of borders. Uh, it's an intense feeling to cross the territories and borders of everyone. As Rosie Bredotti um, wrote, uh, the ideal nomad has the following qualities. Uh, number one, mobility, the possibility to move without border, to cross the borders of others, and two, the unclear definition of yourself. Um, it's when you feel yourself as a citizen of the world and shift boundaries which define your nationality, location, citizenship, race, and class. Three, oops, activity, uh, and uh, Nomad is very active and very political. And uh, actually, as I see, the global economy is already built according to these ideas of uh, nomadism. And uh, it already knows no borders. But the problem is that laws and governments are much slower. They really lag and fall behind. Our governments still believe in the power of borders. 
And that's why Europe closes its borders to refugees, and uh, that's why Putin takes Crimea. Uh, we have to step away from this uh, 19th century logic and understand how to live in 21st century without any borders. The 21st century is a century of ideas, not a century of locked borders, razor wires, refugee camps, and huge armies. And what is globalization in the good sense if we really are living in a global world? Is it, is a movement, it is a movement of free people along with goods and ideas. And uh, I am a migrant uh, myself because I moved from a very small uh, Russian province town, uh, which called Narilsk, and uh, it's uh, near the North Pole. And I moved when I was 16 from my town to Moscow. And uh, a lot of people in Moscow have re really feel this uh, not very nice feelings towards people who are coming from provinces. And so I know what, what is to be a migrant. And I know that uh, sometimes uh, people who move from outside have more um, mobility and have more passion to do new things, to develop new ideas and uh, to create new technologies even. Um, we are huge fans of the concept that increased immigration that we are seeing right now will really boost Europe economic growth um, as it has boosted and allowed the US to become a prosperous nation in the early 20th century. Europe, and especially new age technologies pioneers, have to think of the best way to collaborate and integrate with new Europeans that are coming from the Middle East, from Africa, from Asia, from Russia, <laughs> and everywhere. Um, we have to show that democratic nations are capable not only to set bombs uh, as a response to international matters, but welcome millions of new citizens and work together with them to achieve great results. We as citizens must not wait for our governments who can be too slow, too inert, but let's take control of the situation ourselves, create networks and use technology to do what our governments can't do. If Prime Minister Cameron calls migrants a human swarm, so then to counter that we have to show migrants our solidarity. For instance, we can fundraise, create useful apps for migrants to use and build houses and shelters in the jungle refugee camp of Calais, like our friends from London are doing right now. Or take the amazing example of people on, in Iceland who united and offered refugees 10,000 places in their own homes. Let's think of how we can creatively work and use the tools that a new digital age give us uh, to become a welcoming society where people can genuinely collaborate. I want to give you a sneak preview of Pussy Riot's um, new yet unreleased musical video, which uh, no one has seen yet. And you will be the first people who see it. The song is called Refugees In. Met in Europe by reservoirs, wires. Governments here. Fucking liars, desperate people who need to flee, seeking refuge by land and sea. Push for borders, get no peace. Fuck the police, like we are in Greece. Catch me and catch me out. Refugees in, Nazis out. Government scared, shut me feels ashamed. Fucking liars, you are Smash it up, burst, blast, blow it up, cage me in, 
and cage me out. Refugees in, Nazis out. Government scared shit feels the shame. Fucking lies. You are to cage me in and cage me out. Refugees in, Nazis out. Government scared shit feels the shame. Fucking lies. You are to cage me in and cage me out. Refugees in. Nazis out, government scared shit feels a shame. Fucking liars, you are too late. Bumping people out of homes. We want peace, not fucking drones. Push, push, borders away. Push, borders, do it today. Human beings, not as war. Injustice, government not. to Banksy who allowed us to perform at uh, his show Disneyland and uh, all this footage uh, was done in, in Disneyland and uh, I really want to say hello to uh, art group Connor Brothers who helped us to make this uh, performance at Disneyland and who actually right now working uh, together with uh, Cambridge students and Cambridge professors on uh, doing uh, shelters for refugees in uh, Calais. So they had uh, several discussions with professors and uh, they just visited Calais and uh, built um, dozens of shelters there. And uh, we are go going with them in uh, November uh, to Calais refugee camp uh, to build houses for refugees. And uh, as ending of uh, my story, I want to say a few words about our own um, digital activism. Um, as we've been released from uh, prison, we started uh, an NGO which helps prisoners and people who were tortured in police departments. And we just opened a, a new uh, section of our, our NGO. We help an artist uh, who were censored by our government. And uh, right now we help to one hip hop band. Um, so, and uh, dig digital technologies uh, are a huge part of our work. For example, we are creating uh, a huge map uh, for uh, all prisons which exist uh, in the world. And we, we start from Russian prisons and we already collected information about each uh, Russian prison. Uh, open information and closed information. We are in touch with local human rights workers. We collect their papers. And um, less than in, in half of a year, we will present, we hope that we will present uh, our version of an uh, interactive uh, map of uh, Russian prisons. And in future, we want to include uh, to this map uh, US prisons as well, because uh, as you probably know, uh, there is a big problem with uh, mass incarceration in US prisons. And uh, 
at some points, uh, U.S. prisons are even worse than Russian. So it would be a huge uh, shame on uh, U.S. politicians to see from our interactive map like, this uh, comparison between Russians and U.S. prisons. And we want to give a light on Norway or on uh, Scandinavian system of uh, prisons, because uh, from our point of view, uh, right now it's uh, the best existing uh, prison system in the world. So, um, Next project, which we opened uh, after NGO, uh, is uh, the media outlet, and we are reporting on um, the main political processes in Russia, like court uh, decisions, uh, court cases, uh, um, um, elections. Uh, we just had a huge um, scandals uh, during Russian elections uh, with um, incarceration of a political activist and we cover all the stories which happens in police courts departments, police departments. Um, so, uh, and obviously <laughs> this um, media is um, in internet because we have no option to do a print paper in, in Russia. So we have to develop uh, interesting content uh, which can be um, absorbed by Russian people and uh, we really believe that uh, with our independent voice we can change minds of uh, thousands of Russian people and they finally uh, will um, decide that yes we have to get rid of Putin. <laughs> Thank you. Stay, 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 stay. Really? Yeah. I just want to ask you, Nadia, a couple of quick questions. So you're still quite outspoken. Yes. <laughs> Do you not worry about getting into trouble? I mean, I sometimes into trouble. I mean, you can be late on your plane or. I mean, there are a lot of troubles in your life, and you can't be scared of, a lot, of, of all of them. But in a serious context, do you, do you get warnings that your freedom is at risk, your safety is at risk if you speak out? I think if I will not speak out, my freedom will be at more risk. And do you see Russia as the place you'll stay long term, or do you feel sometimes maybe you should move somewhere else? As I, as I mentioned before, I live without any borders. So uh, I spend right now most of my time in Russia. And I want to spend there my time, but not because I am a citizen of Russia, and just because I adore Russian language and Russian culture. And uh, I want to... Uh, establish um, new cultural institutions in Russia. I want to share um, our knowledge about contemporary art, which a lot of people in Russia just know nothing about contemporary art, and it's so beautiful, and uh, I want to share with them if, if I can, and I will do it till the last point. <laughs> Well, there's quite a lot of Russians in London, and we can help you get a 50 million pound house if um, the audience agrees. We'd very much welcome you. Um, last question. Um, how can the people in the room help the project? Um, I told, I mean, I think uh, refugee crisis is a really main agenda right now. And uh, for me, it will be a huge example if Europe can really work properly and uh, uh, in, with this case and absorb all these people and uh, make them Europeans as you are, as we are, because I believe that Russians are Europeans as well. So I think we should create some, um, I don't know, some ways to how we can, um, what we can do with all these people. I just, I just visited Bulgaria and uh, I've been in Sofia and I, um, 
visited a refugee center, and um, it's such a nice guys, and they're very smart, and they can talk in good English. Some of, some of them really better in English than me. So why uh, we have to refuse them to live in this country? Well, we support your work. We're really delighted to welcome you to WIRE 2015. What a fantastic way to end two days. Please can we thank Nadia. Thank you.